Ebullient greetings. I'm your host, Jackie Bird of Jackie Bird Spiritual Wellness, your guide to stress and anxiety relief, mindfulness, awareness, self-care, self-love, and personal growth. Welcome and thank you for joining me as we roll with peace in mind. Today's wisdom gem is clarity, how to operate in murky waters. You know how good you feel when by a body of water that is so clear you can see the bottom? There is an upliftment, a calmness, a feeling of peace, a feeling of everything is all right. The noun clarity is defined as, one, the quality of being coherent and intelligible, the quality of being certain or definite. Two, the quality of transparency or purity, the quality of being easy to see or hear, sharpness of image or sound. To sum it up, clearness, Oh, how we pine for clarity, how we long for it. So unclear things appear to be. Often our minds are akin to swimming in murky waters. When you can't see things as close as your nose, thoughts swirling around, bumping into each other. In the time of coronavirus, those murky waters appear black. The uncertainty is getting to us and we scream, open things up, I want my life back even though it will kill many. But life as we knew it will be no more. We are in a new stage of life and how to be. So we don't know the future. That is clear. And clarity is only for each of us individually. She speaks to us each through the channel of silence. Seek clarity for yourself. Let go of worries for the future. Be in the present. That creates your future. If you become clear within yourself, you get a picture of direction and of what to do. Erwin McManus tells us, there are few things more powerful than a life lived with passionate clarity. Steve Marabali says, it's a lack of clarity that creates chaos and frustration. Those emotions are poison to any living goal. Tom Ford shares, a few times in my life I've had moments of clarity where the silence drowns out the noise and I can feel rather than think. Anne Zalesack reminds us, Seeking clarity is seeking connection with the universe. To connect is to understand. To be clear is to be enlightened. There are many tools on my website to help connect you to receiving the voice of clarity. It is only through getting quiet and still that we are enabled to hear the silent whisper or we are put in a place to get smacked with the blinding thunderbolt of clarity after getting quiet. There's my guided meditation Sundays and midday med Wednesdays online sessions, seven daily thoughts and mantras for mindfulness eBooks and many other tools found at JackieBirdSpiritualWellness.com. Sometimes we need a helping hand, a way to go, a way to begin getting silent and quiet. Look to the silence. That is where all answers lie. That is the place where clarity dwells.